Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to talk about five items that are great for your next car camping trip. Now these items aren't core camping stuff like a bed or sheets or sleeping bag or whatever. These are items that will hopefully make your next trip more enjoyable and comfortable. So let's get started with the first one. And the first item on the list is a portable fan. If you are going anywhere in the summer, especially down south, a portable fan is almost essential or else you're gonna have an uncomfortable and very, very sweaty time. And there's a couple of things to look for when you're buying a portable fan. And the first one is the size. I find one that's this size is good because it's not too small where it doesn't feel like it's doing anything and it's not too large where it feels like you're sleeping in a wind tunnel. So something about this size I find is perfect for me. And the second thing you wanna keep in mind is you want a fan that can be charged by USB, but you don't want a USB powered fan. And the difference is, for example, this small little fan is powered by USB. So the size isn't as important because that's mainly depending on you, what kind of fan you're looking for, but I would definitely get one that doesn't need to be powered by USB. So look for something that is USB charged, but not USB powered. And I find that a fan is a good spot to save some money. One that's like this one is about $35, so you don't need to get anything too extravagant. Something that turns on and doesn't need a cable is good enough. If you watch my other video on tips for sleeping in your Outback, I talked about this little lantern and it is fantastic. And it's great because you never want to use your interior dome lights when car camping because that can drain your battery if you forget to turn them off. So I find a little lantern with a carabiner attached to the top is the perfect solution for this. And the other benefit is smaller is better in this case because you're only lighting the cabin of your car and you don't need that much light output. If you notice the bottom of this lantern, only a small portion is the actual light so it doesn't have that much output and that's perfect for the interior of your car because it's gonna be dark outside, you don't want too much light. As a comparison, a lantern like this is actually too bright for your car. It can be tough to look around because it feels like the light is always in your eyes so you're squinting and that's really not what you want at night. And if you notice the light, it's hard to control because it outputs everywhere. So a lantern like this, I would recommend for camping, maybe you're eating outside at night for dinner and you can hang it on a post or something. So that's what I would use this lantern for and get a little lantern like this for the inside of your car. And much like the portable fan, this is another area where you can save some money, find something cheap in your price range that gets the job done and that's all you need. And the next item, can be used for car camping, but it's mainly used for hiking, but I wanted to include it anyway because it's actually very important for car camping. And that is a headlamp. I wouldn't use it in the car, but if you're ever at a campground and you need to walk around at night, maybe to the bathroom or get something, or you wanna take a late night hike, a headlamp is the best option for lighting. And that's because unlike a flashlight, obviously you need to hold a flashlight where a headlamp you can wear and it keeps your hands free, which makes it much safer and more efficient. And going back to the last section, if you're wondering why, well, why don't you just use a lantern to walk around at night? A lantern is not a great flashlight or light to walk around with. So you don't really wanna carry it around at night because it's actually harder to see with a lantern because it messes with your depth perception and your eyes adjusting to the nightlight. So something like a headlamp is the best option for any late night stuff and walking around you need to do outside of the car. This is an item I find that you may wanna spend a little more money on and find a reputable company to purchase from. This is a Pelican headlamp and it does everything I need. And you want a little higher quality one because you don't want to have to buy another headlamp. Spend a little more upfront and that way you don't have to worry about a strap breaking or the light breaking from a cheap knockoff somewhere down the line. Go ahead and pay the money up front and you never have to worry about it again. Next we get to large battery banks. These are pretty straightforward. I use an EcoFlow and an Anchor, and I haven't had any issues so far with either of them. Large battery banks have 
numerous benefits. Namely, you can charge stuff, obviously, without needing any electricity. And on that note, the only thing I would recommend looking for when getting a large battery bank is something with an outlet on it. This EcoFlow is my primary battery bank that I use, and it has three outlets on it, and I find that it has enough power for anything I wanna do for any multi-day trip without feeling like I'm gonna run out of juice, you know, on the first night or something. And don't be afraid to get something maybe a little larger than you think, because even holding this next to me, this may seem like it's bulky and heavy, but in your car, you could easily tuck it away between stuff, maybe under a camping cot or something that you have built in your car camper. So don't be turned off by a bank that's maybe too bulky or seems too bulky. It'll fit in your car just fine and you'll be happy for that extra power. And our final item is one of the most unglamorous things you can purchase, but it may be the most important one that saves you on your trip. And that is a portable car jumper. And I bring this with me every time I go on the road, no matter if it's a road trip or not, even driving to work, I always have one of these with me. If you don't know what a portable car jumper is, it is a small battery pack that will jumpstart your car battery if it ever dies. Meaning if you're stranded somewhere, you don't need another car to jumpstart your battery. It's all done with this little battery bank. When you're car camping, there's always a chance that your car battery dies, whether it's through natural causes or maybe you leave a trunk light or a dome light on. Having a portable car jumper is great peace of mind knowing even if you're by yourself on a deep backcountry overlanding trip, you don't need another car to jumpstart your car in case your battery dies. And that's it. I'll put links to all the items in the description below. But again, this is not a sponsored video. This is all my stuff. So don't feel like you have to buy it or click the link or anything. I'm putting the links down there. So hopefully they can give you an idea on what you may need for your next car camping trip. Something that will make it a little more comfortable and maybe a little more fun. And in the case of the car jumper, something that may save you. And if you're still around at this point, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos and hitting the like button and the subscribe button. I know it gets a little tiresome hearing all that stuff, but it does mean a lot to me. So thank you for watching.